Hey guys, Midwest Fishing Bros. Um, it's been a while. I'm working on the boat now. Um, I just want to do kind of an update type video of what I'm doing. Um, right now, I took off um, the guide-ons. As you can see, I took those off. They were attached to these right here. And I got a problem now because the bolts down here are so rusted, I cannot get them off. So I sprayed WD-40 on them this morning, and I let them sit all day. So I'm going to work on that and see if I can get those off. Um, then after that, I'm going to pull the boat out of the garage and see if I can actually push the boat off of the trailer and put it in the yard because I also need to take off this, this bunk, and there's one on the other side. Um, I need to take that off and I'm going to replace, after I paint the trailer, I'm going to replace um, the, or the stand. Um, I want to get one with a wheel and the lights work okay right now and I'm going to get to work. It's hot. It's like 92 degrees right now, but I'm going to see what I can do. I got to get it done, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I tried getting those uh, guide-on brackets loose. I can't do it. Um, I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're just so rusted onto here. I got one off of this one but I can't get the other one off um, so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to get one of those uh, grinders and just cut away right here on every one of them and that way I can just they'll just fall right off so can't do anything with the brackets on those so I'm trying to get this little stuff off like this thing um, I'm not really sure what it was used for so I'm trying to get these off, which they're still a pain there. They're pretty rusted on there. And I'm trying to get that off. Looks like that screw right there is stripped. Um, we'll go around to the other side. And um, I'll probably try to get this off. This looks like a tie down. And then I don't know if this bow used to have like a cover on it or what but there's one here too um there's also like little cup holders like this that i need to get out of here but i really wanted to tonight anyways i wanted to get those brackets off and try to get the boat off of the trailer but i don't know if that's going to happen or not it's this is a slow process i thought it was going to go a lot quicker but um and I'm not really sure how easy the boat's going to slide off because it's on just straight up wood. Um, but I'll keep working, see what I can do, and uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm going to stop working on the boat for, the, for tonight. Um, I really need to get one of those grinders so I can grind off those U-bolts um, that's holding on... Um, the bracket for the guide-ons. Um, once I get those off, I need to put the boat in the yard somehow. Um, so, maybe tomorrow after work, I'll stop at the store, or at, stop at um, the farming store that's in town and pick up one of those, um, one of those grinder tools and see what I can do. Hopefully I can get somewhere. But for, not, for tonight, I'm signing off. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, my neighbor let me borrow his grinder. So we're going to cut off the U-bolts on the trailer that uh, are attached to the guide-ons. And uh, yeah, hopefully this goes well. Got some safety glasses and some gloves so I, I don't get burnt and nothing flies in my eyes. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. And hopefully I can get these bo these U bolts off.
All right, guys, got all the U-bolts off. It's pretty easy. Um, I dinged up the trailer a little bit, but it's already dinged up. Now I'm going to try to get the boat off the trailer into the yard somehow. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Boats off the trailer. All right, now I'm gonna have to try to flip this by myself. Um, so if it rains, it doesn't it doesn't pool in there. So this might be interesting. So, but I'll give it a try. Got the boat flipped. As you can see, um, the other side has been patched a little bit. Um, I'll probably repatch it. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. Um, this was here. So I know that there's a hole here, a hole there. And yeah, so this is what the trailer looks like. I'm going to take these off, probably these, so I can paint those. And these. And I think it should be ready to paint then. So 
probably take off this as well and probably this and uh we'll be good to go so stay tuned i'm gonna put the boat back in or the i'm gonna put the trailer back in the garage and start taking the bunks off Alright guys, I got the bunks off, um, as you can see, they're no longer there, I got that one off, came up here, and I got these two off, um, these things, the rollers, I can't take, I guess I could take them off, but I'm not really sure how to get this little um, pin out, so if you could, if anyone of you know how to do that, let me know. Um, also, I just realized that um, this is welded on. This thing right here um, is welded on. So I'm going to have to take that grinder and try to cut it off somehow um, because I'm replacing that. And uh, once I get the rollers off, get that off, I'm going to take this off and this and I think I'll be ready to paint, uh, sand it all, paint it and uh, be good as new. So that's that. The trailer or the boat is out in the yard and I'll work on this again when I have the chance. Um, but yeah, everything else seems to be going good. And I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's when it's actually painted and looking good and so thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. Keep fishing and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks guys.